The Coastal Defences project of the Eastern Solent Coastal Partnership was chosen from over 50 projects across the UK as the winner of the Environment Agency's Large Project Review Group. The project, worth £44 million, is expected to take between 7 to 10 years to construct and covers one of the most vulnerable flood risk areas in Portsmouth, the coastline from Titna to Milton Common. Project lead, coastal engineer Alex Pryor, explains why they've started the first phase at Anchorage Park. When we came to, to design the works, we looked at the various frontages along the full 8.4 kilometres uh, and we programmed the work uh, based upon the condition of the defences that were here and also the level of risk behind those defences. So at Anchorage Park, we recognised that the defences that were here were quite low and in some cases in quite poor repair. Uh, furthermore, the uh, residential community of Anchorage Park has almost a thousand homes uh, to protect, so we couldn't let a failure occur on this frontage. This is why this is being done first and it's the most important of all the frontages. So what is actually being done here? On this phase, uh, the structures are earth embankments raised up from the existing uh, earth structures. Uh, these are brought up to a level to provide protection against a 1 in 500 year um, coastal flood event. The earth embankments will provide the flood defence, but they are protected themselves by a layer of rock armour, which we see being placed here, um, on the seaward face, which protects against erosion. Uh, the, there will be a new footpath that runs all the way along the defences, uh, and we hope when we finish, once it's been re-landscaped and replanted, that it will make the area once again a nice and fighting outdoor area for the people of Portsmouth to come and enjoy. This is one of the best coastal defences in the country outside London, providing protection for the next 100 years. But did it need to be that good with the large amount of money spent on it? Originally we were looking at a 1 in 200 uh, year event, but we found that for a, a fairly modest top-up, um, we could actually increase the level from 1 in 200 to 1 in 500. So for us, it was a very cost-effective decision. The first phase here at Anchorage Park is due to be completed in October. Coastal engineer Sarah Ball works as the communication lead and shared what's next. So then we'll move on to the second stage of the, the wider project. Um, that will be taking place further down the Eastern Road at Great Sultan's Quay and Milton Common and we're looking at um, improving some of the flood defences in that area. And how will people find out more for the second phase? So we'll be putting up some posters in the area along Milton Common and at Great Sultan's Quay um, to tell people there. We're also presenting at Milton Neighbourhood Forum and we'll be sending in due course over the next year or so um, letters and leaflets to people living in the area and businesses as well so that they're really well informed. But back to the current construction and what was the digger doing poking at the rocks? The machines that we have here are fitted with global positioning uh, equipment which means that the driver in the cab has got a model, a 3D model of the finished structure in the cab on the computer uh, and so he can with his bucket he can move the rocks around and level them to make sure that they are at the right place uh, at the right level for the design so we don't have to have somebody in the hole with a stick uh, measuring for him. And if you want to find out more about the defences go to the Eastern Solent Coastal Partnership website escp.org.uk. This is Shan Robbins for Solent News Now.